Yo people, hope you're well. So we're in Ted's gym in Workern. So we've just been filming a session with um, a client, Luke, who is doing a bodybuilding show, um, natural bodybuilding show. He's 10, 10, I think it was 10.5 or 10 weeks out. He is now, so we're just getting him prepped uh, for the competition. You know, great with bodybuilding because we're trying to get, I like working with people with that mentality who uh, want to achieve a great, you know, package. So we're decreasing body fat levels as much as we can retaining the muscle mass as much as we can, keeping that physique nice and fresh, nice and full. And uh, like I say, we'll, uh, there's only going to be one winner, that's for sure. So I'm really looking forward to that. So what we are going to do in today's session, um, it's a bodybuilding style uh, training today. So we're going to do chest and delt and abs. Um, so we're going to start off with a pec deck fly. Tempo on that uh, will be a couple of feeler sets going into the loading set, which will usually be around eight to 12 reps, heavy as we can there, you know, making sure that we've got the most energy at the start of the session. So we wanna make sure that we do our loading sets first within the actual total set. So we'll do the loading set uh, first, then going into the endurance set, which usually what happens is we'll decrease the weight and then push for higher reps. So the first one, obviously we're gonna push the load, so it's usually lower reps, then going into the, the last set, which is the endurance set, which will be very much um, high reps, um, but a, a lower weight. So just making sure that we can stay in control, but also maximize our energy levels as well. Sometimes when you're training, you're not always going to get um, the same amount of, um, the same amount of lifts as you were in the first sets. So it's always wise to do the loading sets first when you've got the maximum energy and then go into the, um, the deload sets uh, and then you'll be able to maximize the weight and then maximize the reps. So from then, pec deck, uh, we're then going to go to an incline press. So we use the machine. Uh, what I like there is a really good squeeze, a really good incline machine downstairs, which you'll see. Um, so we're going to use that first and again, same thing with the exercises, a uh, good, good few feeler sets into the loading set, then into uh, a back off set, uh, your endurance set. Then from the next exercise, we're going to go for, um, which will be a, a super set, which will be a flat floor dumbbell press, then into a dips. Um, so with the dips as well, we're going to make sure that we can really maximise the, the range of motion. Um, so I'll be pulling his legs back a bit just to really make sure that we can get the whole chest, whole chest isolated. Just takes a little bit off the triceps as well uh, so we can keep that chest focused. Then we're going to go into some flies. We'll finish off with a fly movement and then with delts, um, we'll do a couple. Usually with this exercise, it's, a, <laughs> it's hard to describe because it's like a side raise going into the, the, going into the front delt. And then what we do is we bring the traps and everything together on the la on on this exercise, it's like the whole the whole delt's been activated, the whole muscle's been activated from the side delt into the front delt into the rears into the traps, and it just connects everything together. And I really like that exercise uh, for that. It just gives a real good feel for it. Give that one a try, see what you think, um, and then going into from there, we'll just finish off with some side some side lateral to failure. Make sure that we've um, fully maximised that. Make sure we've completely obliterated delts. And then from delts, we will go into just some leg raises. So I like to do hanging leg raises. Again, your legs are really heavy. You can use them as a tool as well to make sure that you can get you know, a nice strong core, but then also it brings out the detail. So we get a good stretch on the abs and then we can also bring it up right into the good peak of the contraction and get a good squeeze on. And what I find is, you know, with that, with that exercise, because it is quite hard and you can't do many reps, um, it is in, it's, it's that old saying, intensity brings density and you know, it does give you them that detailed abs and you know, with the obliques and everything connected together, um, rather than just doing sit-ups where you know, you're only lifting like a quarter of the way that you could if you were just doing with your legs a whole way. So that's what we're doing. So we've got a busy session. So let's go right to it. We're going to do on peg deck, we're going to do one warm up set or a couple warm up sets, call them like feeler sets. Um, then we'll go into like one where we push the weight up, so usually around about six to ten reps, something along the lines of that. Um, and then go into a bit of an endurance set, so a back off set where we'll push 
anything beyond 12, 15, even 20, just a real good squeeze. So yeah, neutralizing the energy, warm up sets, loading sets, then endurance sets, done. then a nice slow negative, then into the stretch. Always in control, nothing's a waste, nothing's a waste at all. Oh. As well, when you're in the gym and you, you want to go through the weights, don't be shy of doing feeler sets. So like we're going to do now, it's just a couple sets, sorry, a couple reps, sorry, a couple reps, just getting a good feel, then we know it's pretty good to maximise that now, so rather than going in and thinking something's too heavy, then, you know, like I say, overstretching over and things like that, causing injury, you can just do a little couple feel the sets, feel into the weight, and then go from there. Yeah, it felt alright, that. Perfect, you can max that out now. In that zone, man, come on. Drive, 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 good. You control the negative now. I'll, I'll drive through the positive. <coughs> drive, 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 drive. Good. Perfect. Squeeze, hold, hold, all you. Negative. So as well, when you are with your training partner or whatever when you spot, notice how on the the last clips, when you when you're helping someone spot on the positive, you only start helping when they need the help. You just guide them. You just guide them to it. And then, you know, when the, because the, neg the negative is the strongest bit of the movement, so you can lead people on the negative, you know, t drive it through the positive. Don't steal. Yeah, don't, don't steal, steal it. Right. Don't steal it. Yeah. <laughs> don't steal it. Let it come in and then let them finish it off on the negative, you know, and that, yeah. that's when you, you know, you're not, you're not stealing anything from them. They're getting the maximum out of the exercise. And then that way as well, when you're just driving them through the positive, a lot of the time people just want to throw it, like they want to throw the movement. But that's just taking it off the muscle and you're just using momentum. So you're actually cheating yourself through the rep. You're just cheating yourself anyway in general. So you want to make sure that you're always driving through yeah. the muscle. Driving through the muscle for the whole time. Um, and when it's finished, say like you can only do a half rep, go into a quarter rep, do as many quarter reps as possible, and then it's done. Benito. Control, finish it off. That's a pump. That's a pump. <laughs> That's a pump. You know, when we talk about, we were talking about classic physiques, and you look at them all over here, like the classic physiques. They, they trained, they trained like that. They yeah. trained hard, supersets. You know, that's how you get that grainy muscle, that dry muscle. Um, a lot of the time people are taking, you know, nothing, no judgment or anything like that. I just think the physiques have changed. Um, and for me, I personally, and I know you with the classic, like them class, that classic look, and yeah. it's just the way people have trained. I think, um, you know, there's less sort of fitness, there's less sort of... Um, you don't see a lot of supersets in that yeah, now. Yeah, and, and you know no. what, just really, when you're in them reps as well, just maximizing, getting that focus. I think it's the focus yeah. in it as well. A lot of the time, making sure that you focus, you're in that zone. You know, if someone walks past you, you're not looking, phone goes off, you're not losing yeah, exactly anything. I, Make yeah. a difference, man. Got exercise two, just gonna do an incline press. This is a great little machine. Um, it just really isolates the upper chest as well. So, you know, you're not, a lot of the times with dumbbells, you know, you can go too wide, um, but this just gets a really good squeeze at the top. You can just really keep the focus on the chest. Um, which is exactly what we want. Yeah. 
you don't make it loud, it's just proper like anabolic noise. Like, your, te your test goes up about 100%. Don't it? Should do a study on that. So another important thing with, with training as well, something you can see in bodybuilding, especially in Luke's physique, is um, you know the importance of a rest. Um, not just putting in more food and everything else, just rest off training, giving your nervous system a you know a break. I think we've done about five days, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah five, five days. Five, I think. five days. I, yeah. You know what? Sometimes I've done I've done two. It's not enough. Three is never enough. Four, you're sort of getting excited to get back in. But the fifth day, you know, you're ready for it, aren't you? And you can tell, you know, your muscles are able to absorb more nutrients. You know, you're able to perform better. So, you no, know, don't underestimate the power of a good rest. Two deep breaths. Yeah. Let's do this, man. Three, two, one. Yep. Drive it. Come on. And again, up, <coughs> nice reps. Squeeze at the top, hold, nice slow negatives, pause. Oh, yes. Set. Yep. <laughs> oh, I tried to lift myself off the floor there and it just wasn't happening. <laughs> so, next exercise, flat floor, dumbbell press, uh, into dips, super set. So we're going to make sure these are nice and controlled, really slow negatives. Um, the reason why I like these is because as well, you know, it's, it's a lot find a lot of injuries and things like that on chest but you, you can just fully keep the focus right on the chest see where his elbows end on the floor you know what I mean there's no you're not gonna um, you're not gonna weaken anything with the shoulder or anything like that you can hold right up just keep it really chest focused Increasing the volume a little bit more uh, with supersets because I just want to keep I want to keep the blood in the muscles. I just want to really finish it off. Um, now we've done the heavy lifting right at the start with energies nice and high. We're going to a little bit of volume, get the pump going. As you can tell, <laughs> like I say, so slow and controlled with the flat floor uh, dumbbell press, um, and then like I say, just making sure that we can isolate the whole chest, especially the the bottom half of the dips. But again. Not just powering right through, it's all slow, it's all controlled, it's painful. So let's do it. <laughs> Stretching the chest out. Obviously, we've done um, two real like, compound movements into the dumbbells, into the dips, supersets. So, all we're going to do now is just fully lengthen the chest. 
just get it pumped up again. So nice little finish here, just to finish on a stretch. I don't really like finishing on, um, on presses. I like to really like widen the chest first. making sure that you you know you're having a good workout and everything's nothing's going to waste it's far better than like just being in here and you know what i mean yeah. going through the motions and i like training pretty fast yeah. anyway like yeah. keeps everything flowing a bit better if you're not like resting fucking ages in between sets and yeah, that definitely, yeah man. definitely like I, I hate that me personally yeah. waiting for five Maybe minutes to like, like yeah if you're doing something heavy like oh, heavy yeah. heavy but if it's Fucking like powerlifting and things like that, you yeah. need to recover, don't you? But stuff like this, you can jump from it, like one yeah. to the other, yeah. basically, yeah. But you're keeping, that, you're keeping the blood in the muscle, aren't you? Yeah, you're exactly. You're keeping the pump, which is yeah. essentially what you want when you're bodybuilding, don't you? Oh, yeah, definitely. Two loading sets, heavy sets, to failure. And then we do two drop sets. I think I'll add these, Finish it off. Perfect. <laughs> Good yeah. stuff. So this exercise, um, what I find is it just brings out the detail, like in the calf of the delts, which is what we're after for a show. So rather than just going into a, a side raise, you know what we're doing is we're going to bring it all the way up. We've got to bring some front delt, and then we're going to really squeeze the delts at the top of the traps and just bring everything together. I find with bodybuilding, we just want to maximise detail. This is one of my favourite delt exercises. The style, and this is what I think with like training as well. You can go off what people say. Oh yeah, and exactly. Think there's science, but like when you actually do it, like obviously it's into a side there, and then like when you come up here and you squeeze, it every, does it awesome. does it feel there? That squeeze, that connection there. Oh yeah. And with bodybuilding, that going there, that's into it. That's, that's going into it. You know, a back double in it. Yeah, so exactly. you're bringing out all the detail and the rhomboids at the back and the upper back and the delts are all connecting together. Yeah. Guarantee you, like, you can tap your muscles at the top there, uh, everything's yeah. contracted yeah. in it. Yeah. Yeah. You'll be able to see right. when you do it in the camera on, the, on your back how, how much your, like, your, delt, your delts are contracted yeah. at the top. Yeah, exactly. Not putting the work, got to go to that place, haven't you? It's a place when you're training. Yeah, right. You have to tap into it. Uh, um, but we'll, like I said, it's, 
I don't know, it's like finding, it's like thriving in it as well. Yeah, it's like enjoying getting, it. Like, yeah, enjoying it, getting to that place. You know when you're there as well, it's like a, <laughs> yeah. something yeah. inside of you turns very beast-like, doesn't it? Yeah, you just got to fucking get into that place. There's as much full range of motion as you can possibly get. They always like see a lot of people sort of showing off how heavy they can lateral raise. But the thing is, like if you watch a lot of videos of professional bodybuilders doing exercises like that, see most of the time they're probably using maximum 10 kilo dumbbells. But that goes to show really, it's all about just properly getting into the exercise and working the muscle, instead of just focusing on how much weight you can throw up on them. Turns into more of like a shrug, doesn't it, when you yeah, sort of really I think the, I think the, I like trying to chuck them like that. I like the saying, making the, the weight work for you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you know what I mean? Making that weight as heavy as you could possibly make it. Yeah. Because in that way, in your head, you're maximising, like, you, you're, you're maximising the, you know, your energy. Yeah. yeah also, um, your focus, because you're having to really concentrate. And then you know you're not wasting any bit of the movement. Yeah. You're not using any momentum. Oh yeah. Uh, but There's we've all done it. We've all done it. We all try yeah. to try and lift, lift a little bit heavier here. But the time and place for it. Yeah, yeah exactly. There is exercises man. for it. But yeah. I just believe, like me personally, like I used to try and go up the rack lateral like, raising, like going up to 20 to 25. Yeah. But going dropping down, like I mean, we were doing seven and a half. So, so that's like less than half of that. I felt that about 100 times more than when I used to just chuck it. But there is a time and place for heavy exercises, yeah, like your presses, yeah, yeah. stuff absolutely, like that, or compounds. Absolutely, absolutely compound this, but for your isolation exercises, you know, arms, delts, yeah. you know, traps, even traps. I know you can do heavy shrugs and things like that, but yeah. even even small dumbbells with some shrugs and traps yeah. is really good for isolating. I think it's like trying to target that isolation of the muscle as well. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, when you're doing rears as well, you've got to really dial into that muscle as well. Yeah, and like once you're into that sort of plane of movement, you just it's yeah. like just keeping it there, isn't it? Yeah. Not like freeing from it. Even yeah. even your rep, even your rep ranges as well. Yeah, like definitely. For, I find for the larger muscle groups, you know, the lower your rep ranges. Yeah. Usually, um, but for things like arms and delts, I find like just um, the most success I've had in growing them. Um, especially delts and arms, it's yeah. actually like keeping the sessions quite intense, but the reps quite yeah. know, go beyond 15, go beyond 12. Really. Yeah, it's really it's getting... strange, isn't it? You've got to just have oh, yeah. that intuition to train and just do what you feel oh, necessary. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, yeah, I don't agree with you anymore. People, I'd say they're pretty weak, but yeah. like obviously not not really a weak body part. But, but I, I don't really go I, heavy on. I, I think as well. I don't know. Have you? Have you rarely just had a day where you just focused on arms? On what? Have you had a day where you focused on arms? Uh, yeah, usually. Yeah. But like, yeah, most I think, of the time. I think like when I when, when I was bodybuilding, um, my arms were at the weakest. I didn't have an arm day. Yeah, like and you on push pull or something. Um, it was a push pull, but I think I put, I always put triceps with maybe chest. Yeah. And back would be with back. But what happens then is you've already done two large muscle groups before you give them your focus. Yeah, it's like you can't do it for them. So you can't can you? really maximise yeah. it, but then what you find is, you look at arms, like they're, hard, they're a good chunk of your body. Yeah, you know what I mean? If you, if you have an arm day, fair enough they're a small muscle group, but you can you can grow some arms yeah. if you give it some focus. So I say yeah. to a lot of clients, treat them as any other body part. Yeah. Like literally treat them as if you were your legs, like train them as hard as you would yeah. with your legs. Yeah. Everything. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, you, you can find that place with legs really, really easy to go to that place. Yeah. You know, and everyone who moves that place, but when, when it comes to get fired up for something like arms, yeah, when it comes to get something, when it comes Probably. to get fired up for cardio or abs, you know, you've still got to go to that place to get the maximum reward from it, the maximum progress. If you don't go in it with enthusiasm, it's half arse. Oh, yeah, then, exactly. What do we get out of it, do we? But yeah, you're absolutely right, man. Let's do some abs. Yeah. Do you squeeze?
squeeze your abs. Yeah. And then when you're in the bottom, really, really stretch your abs. Like let your legs come all the way down and then really drive it up, get that crunch and squeeze. Yeah. And it just brings everything, it brings everything in. Slow it right down, slow it right down, pause. Doesn't matter how many you do, man, as long as you do them all one like that. Some of like the exercises you've got us on are like literally six to eight reps, but because of the tempo and that, the set literally lasts about a minute. So like it doesn't your body won't know how many reps, it'll know how long it's been under tension for, won't it? Doesn't know the muscle doesn't care what you're lifting how many reps you're doing or yeah. anything like that it, we just want to you obviously break it down and, and maximize what we can what yeah. we can and it takes focus obviously tempo is really important as well isn't it um you know slowing everything down it's not just a to b is it no if we slow everything down we're getting that that you know ultra control what we're after yeah yeah a little bit heavier more explosive on the way up like get them fast twitch fibers and that yeah and then as soon as going to the endurance set, I might literally be using like half the weight, but yeah. just going like slow on the way up, slow at yeah. the way down, pausing yeah. top, pausing bottom. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, there's a, there is a difference, isn't there? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? It's great to go heavy and stuff, but then there's a difference when you can get that real. Yeah, exactly. Uh, just getting a mixture of everything. Yeah. And you've got it, haven't you? But oh, I, yeah. I find that's the best way to. to, to, to to maximise when you're in the gym and your energy levels. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. a couple of feeler sets, then like the loading sets when you've got the maximum energy and you've got the most yeah. energy then. So do that then. Right. And then like deload into like um, like I say, deload into getting them reps. Like you, you can't you can't you can't like you can never get the heaviest rep again, can you? No, I can't. Yeah. Is it starting to feather as well? I I know we sat this morning. It's like saying the, the, the joys of bodybuilding. A lot of people don't understand it, but you know, at the end of the day, you're trying to be your best self. You're trying to get, bring your, the best physique you possibly can. You know, the lowest level of body fat with the, you know, the maximum muscle mass that you can potentially have. Oh, yeah. So it's a so uncomfortable process and yeah. you know it doesn't get the credit it deserves but um, yeah very challenging man but it's all worthwhile. It's all yeah. worthwhile. Front double yeah. Straight at your chest. Straight at your chest already. See with these here. Bring your elbows or no like tilt them up like that. That's oh it. yeah. That's it. And then bring your wrists in and then we'll, that'll bring the peak of the biceps out more. That's it. Then lean back, get them lats in. Awesome, man. Remember that the judges are like here as well. Yeah. So like. So I come down a little so bit. Yeah, on. like yeah. you're gonna have to like come down a touch. Yeah. Not much. Sort of like you're towering over them, but yeah. get that um, that focus in your eyes as well, like you're looking past them. Yeah. Get that gap. Get rid of that gap. That's it. Ham. Leg. All I want you is that, is that, yeah, is that. Because when you do that, when you bring that delt into that chest, do it again, you're bringing out that striation in your chest and then the gap. That's it, perfect. Awesome, man. So I try. It's your best shot, man. 10 cent obliques. Breathe out. Get that air, that's it. Awesome, and then pull on that a little bit more. As soon as you pull on that, you bring them feathers out there. Yeah, perfect. That's it. Great shot. Just squatting into it a tiny bit like that. Yeah. I found I couldn't flex them a lot better. Yeah, absolutely, man. Perfect. Great. That's it. Keep tensing them lats. Good, and then flick them traps. Good. 
that's it when you're bringing out all that detail see right there all this detail in the back everything else that is purely down to how you train now nah, pull it forward again that's it there perfect good keep it steady awesome this week so had a good rest haven't we yeah um, just put just do um we'll do 100 grams carbs tonight yeah um 20 fat yeah do a video tomorrow yeah yeah salt 0 0.5 pink salt water the same yeah um and then like i say look at tomorrow have a look tomorrow and then we'll see if we do it go again just yeah. see how we look but, sounds um, good perfect man perfect sounds good awesome. yeah awesome Good work, brother.